So this is the new system for the barley fodder mats. What you're looking at in this tray here, the uh, flood and drain approach, uh, which is currently running its cycle. Uh, this tray here just got the seed put in it, so this is day zero for this barley seed. It's about six pounds of seed in that tray. It'll fill up with the water right there. And at this end, you're going to see there's the uh, drain, is the little small cap down there. And that's where the water drains out. This is the overflow, just in case, for safety purposes. We don't want to flood on the floor. This is what day zero looks like. It's seed that has been previously soaked overnight and it's going to show signs of germination in about uh, 24 hours. Let's take a look at some other trays here and you'll get a sense of where we're heading. Here is uh, a day two tray. You can already see signs of life right there in the tray. Little barley sprouts coming up. As it proceeds in its growth cycle, it's going to start to look like this. Filling up the tray. A little greener. And then like this, a little taller. This tray is almost ready to go. And then here's one that's even taller. You can see it's starting to reach its uh, the top of the shelf there almost. Another day or so. And when we're done with its cycle, we'll be taking that out, feeding it to the animals. As far as the system set up on this end here, let's take a look at some of the plumbing. Here's another view of the trays. You can see there's our uh, drain fittings right in here. And each of those drain fittings comes down. The overflow fitting and the drain fitting. They will drain out down some tubes back to the reservoir, which is down here. This is a 14 gallon Rubbermaid reservoir. And it's got a Flowtech pump in there. It's just basically got water, whatever I'm adding in there. You can see it's, its current cycle is now draining. I have noticed that uh, the water after a couple days starts to get a little foamy. We're going to see if we can do a little research on that and reduce the foam from the barley. I think that's just part of soaking barley here. But there you have it as far as lighting goes. If you can see it in the video there, that's uh, just a compact CFL light. Very simple, very easy. There's one for each shelf and that's uh, the total wattage of light that they're getting to grow throughout their cycle day by day here. I've got nine trays going. There's the bottom one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All the trays detach and come out for easy cleaning, as well as removal of the fodder mat. And there you have it, barley fodder sprouting.